Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can create a mortgage payment calculator in Excel and I'm going to show you how we can prove out that calculation to see you know what your total interest payments would be over the course of the mortgage and the principal all within this one sheet. So to start I'm going to create some fields, one for a house price, a down payment, and a mortgage amount. So let's say we're buying a house for a million dollars. And the down payment is going to be 20% of that. So what's left over is the mortgage. Just going to add some formatting here to make it easier to read. So I've got my starting mortgage amount. I also need to add an interest rate. For that, I'm going to use 1%. And then the term in years, I'm going to say is 30 years. And then I want to calculate a payment amount. So to do this, I can just use Excel's PMT function, which as you can see, it says calculates the payment for a loan based on constant payments and a constant interest rate. So the first argument is the rate or the interest rate. In this case is going to be the 1%. But because I want monthly payments, I need to divide this by 12. The number of periods, the second argument, is the term. And again, because this is 30 years, I need to multiply this by 12 months in a year. Now you can change these um, change these values, obviously, if you want to put in a monthly interest rate and, and a monthly term. But typically when you're looking at you know, mortgage payments, you're talking about annual interest rates and, and annual terms. So just for the sake of consistency, I'm going to show you how you could convert that this way. The present value is going to be a negative 800,000. Just think of it from the mindset that, you know, you're starting at a negative in the sense that you owe that money and each payment will bring down your balance. And that's where the future value is set to zero. The type I'm going to ignore, but you can specify you want end of period or beginning your period. And by default, it goes to the end of the period. And so now when I hit enter, it tells me that's my monthly Mortgage payment, $2,573.12. Now, if I change any one of these variables, say this to 2%, 3%, it automatically updates. And so it's a really easy way to calculate a, a mortgage payment if you wanted to know, you know what your payments might look like if interest rates go, go up or down. And the next part of this, I'm going to create an amortization table to show you, to, to sort of prove out this calculation. And so I'm going to create some columns here, one for the period, one for the beginning balance, one for the interest payment, the principal, and the ending balance. I'm just gonna expand these uh, a little bit here. So I'm gonna start at period one, and the first period is gonna be that mortgage amount of $800,000. The interest is gonna be that 800,000 times the interest rate divided by 12, so you know how much we're paying interest per month. The principal is just going to be this payment amount, so I'm gonna freeze this. And the ending balance is gonna be equal to the beginning balance plus the interest less the principal. And so I'm gonna change, I'm gonna freeze the, the interest rate, so D8 here, just so when I copy this down, the formulas will, will adjust. For period two, the beginning balance is going to be equal to the ending balance of the previous period. Let's copy the formatting down. And I'm going to copy the formulas from below using Control D. Now what I can do is now that I've got these formulas set up, I'm going to copy this down. You can see it looks to be okay. Now with 360 payments, I'm going to have to copy this all the way down to about roughly that line. So, a little bit too far, but as you can see, payment 360 is right there. It's got that nice, neat zero balance to show that it has been paid off. So as you can see, the interest rates over time amount to eventually zero. And so if you wanted to see you know, how much interest you're gonna pay over the course of mortgage, you can simply select column I. And if I format this properly, you can see $126,000 over the course of this mortgage. So we've got that beginning balance of $800,000, and our total principal payments 
are 926 three to one. The difference being being that 800,000 mortgage amount plus that $126,000 for interest payments. So we can see how our, our mortgage is gonna move over the course of, of the years and, and months. And again, we can change this. So if it's 2%, you can see that our interest skyrockets significantly. Now it's up to 264,000. So even just a 1% change in the interest rate can have a significant impact over a 30 year mortgage. Another thing I'll show you is, let's say you wanted to know what your mortgage balance was after two years. And you don't want to go through this whole process of creating this, this amortization table. What you can do in that case is use the future, future value formula in Excel, which is just FV. So in this case, we're again using our rate, rate divided by 12, because we're looking at months. And let's say we want to know after two years, what our balance would be. So two years, 12 months will be 24 periods, right? So we're looking at this amount here. And so for the payment amount, we're gonna select this payment and the present value is gonna be a negative 800,000 because that's where we're starting from. Now the important thing to remember, regardless of how you do this, you wanna make sure that your payment and your mortgage amount are not both positive, one needs to be negative the other one needs to be positive for this to calculate correctly now if we close this out it tells me that the future value is going to be seven hundred sixty thousand two hundred seventy six dollars and ninety nine cents which matches up to this value from period 24. so you don't need to create a whole amortization schedule each time if you just wanted to see you know what your future pay future balance is going to be you know if you wanted to change this to you know, five years, then you're looking at 60 months or 60 periods, 697, 634. If we go down to period 60, 697, 634.90. So that's a way where you can shortcut it and just quickly pull in the value that you want. Now, I also have a mortgage calculator template on my website that you can download for free. I'll link to it. Um, in this in this video if you want to uh, download it but as you can see just doing these calculations yourself aren't isn't 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 hopefully too difficult it's a matter of just using really that PMT function or the FV function if you want to jump ahead to see what your future balance is the key thing to remember is to make sure that your interest rates and your term are lining up if you're looking at monthly payments the interest rate also needs to be monthly but other than that, that's how you can set up a mortgage calendar template in Excel.